Hello and welcome to this tutorial for users of Microsoft Excel. This tutorial is recorded using the version of Excel that comes with Office 365, but if you're using any version of Excel from 2007 all the way up to 2019, you'll find all of what you see here the same in the version that you're using. The subject of this tutorial is protecting spreadsheets and a common problem you may find if you're sharing your spreadsheets with other people is that things accidentally get changed or deleted. So for example, somebody might come along to this spreadsheet and accidentally select, let's say, the entire content of the table, press the delete button, which causes complete chaos and the chart disappears. And then instead of maybe using the undo button, which would what you should do, they maybe panic and decide to close down the spreadsheet. And when they do that, they get the warning do you want to save or not save the spreadsheet? Of course, what you should do here is say don't save and then you can reopen the correct version. But some people panic and click on the save button, close the whole thing down. And the next time you come to your spreadsheet, this is what you're confronted with, um, which is annoying and it means you have to re-enter everything. And if that's a large spreadsheet with lots of calculations and links, that could be a lot of time wasted. So what can you do to prevent these accidental deletions or maybe data entries? Well, let's just undo that deletion, which is what I should have done in the first place, of course. And let's have a look at any particular cell. Right click on the cell and come down to the format cells option. And you'll get the format cells dialog, lots of things in here, but I'm interested in the final tab here, protection. And if I click on that, you'll see we have two options to check or uncheck, locked and hidden. I'll come back to hidden at the end, but just for now, what you need to do is make sure that the locked option has a check in there. It is checked by default, but sometimes that can be removed. So if you want to protect cells, you do need that to be checked. Click OK. And of course, if you want to check an entire range has the lock applied, I'm just going to click and drag all the contents of that table Again, right click, come down to Format Cells, go to Protection, and here I can either unlock or lock the whole selected range. So obviously I want to make sure it is locked. Click OK. And I'll just deselect there, it's not necessary, but I'll just do that anyway. And the next step is to apply the protection. So we come to the Review tab. So click Review, and over on the right you'll see the Protect section, and the first button there is protect sheet. If I click on that, we get a dialogue with some options in it. We can enter a password, as you can see. I won't do that just yet, but all I'm going to do here is just make sure that top option is ticked. I'll leave everything else blanked, but obviously you can see here that you can allow certain things to be done with the cells, even though they are locked. But we'll leave everything as it is for now. Click OK. And now, if the same thing happens, somebody comes along and decides to maybe accidentally delete everything. I'm clicking and dragging, double clicking. Oh, well, what's happened there? I've double clicked and it says the cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet. And then it says to make a change, unprotect the sheet, you might be requested to enter a password. Well, okay. So right now the user really can't do anything but view the contents of the worksheet. And in order to do anything, they would have to go back to the Review tab, click Unprotect Sheet, and immediately they then have the option to perhaps enter new data or maybe delete things if they wanted to. What's far more typical is that you would want to allow people to enter certain information but not allow them to change other bits. For example, maybe you don't want to change titles and you certainly don't want them messing about with calculations. I'm going to reapply protection, but this time I'm going to make sure that people can enter data in cells B4 down to B9. To do that, I first need to select those cells and then I'm going to right click, go to Format Cells and this time in the Protection tab, I want to make sure the Lock option is off and then click OK. One more thing I'll do here to show you that hidden option is I'm going to select all my calculations. So if I select those, and I'll hold down the control key and also select the total. I'm going to right mouse click, go to format cells. I'm going to leave those cells locked, of course, and also make sure they're hidden. 
and you'll see how that works in a moment. So if I now click OK, let's go back to again, make sure you're on the review tab, go back to the protect section, click protect sheet. And this time I'm going to create a password. I'll have a nice simple one, one, two, three, four. Again, just make sure that the protect worksheet and contents is checked. That should be done anyway. And further down, we want to allow people to do certain things. So we want them to be able to select unlocked cells. And then I'm going to click OK. And now I have to type in the password just to make sure I've remembered it. So one, two, three, four. Um, there is a warning here that if you do lose or forget the password, you can't recover it. And so they're suggesting keeping a record of the passwords that you do apply to any spreadsheets or workbooks. And also a reminder that the password is case sensitive. So it is a good idea to keep a, a record of your password somewhere um, and maybe not on a sticky note on your monitor, but you could do that if you want to. So I'm just going to click OK, make sure my password works, which it did. And now if we come back to the cells, if I try and click on the title, Fred Home Video Survey, I can't select it. If I try double clicking, nothing happens at all now. So what's actually happening is that the spreadsheet is defaulting to the first available cell I can enter data. So I can now type into B4. I can type in, let's say, a value there, press the Enter key, come down to the next cell and so on. So if I now actually press the Tab key, what you'll see is that the selection cycles around that range of unlocked cells and doesn't go anywhere else. If I try and select one of the calculator cells, I can't do that. If I use the arrow keys on the keyboard, I still can't move off anything but the unprotected range. Now I'm going to modify the protector sheet just for a moment. So let's come back to the unprotect sheet and I have to type in the password. So one, two, three, four, press enter and then click protect sheet again. Make sure I have that password back in. And this time I'm going to allow the user to also select locked cells. And I'll click OK there. Again, just check that password. So now what the user can do is not only enter data into the unlock cells, but they can also select the calculation cells. However, because I've set that hidden attribute, you can't see anything in the formula bar. So if I try and right mouse click, you'll see there's nothing there to allow me to edit or see what the calculation is in that cell. And again, the same with the total cell there. There's a few tips on how you can protect your spreadsheets and prevent things like accidental changes or deletion. I hope you found something useful there and you can apply to the spreadsheets that you're working on. But in the meantime, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.